A friend of mine recently got a Model Y, so I actually thought what I would do is go through some key settings for new owners. So this is my 2022 Model Y, but the, the, the menu should be very similar. Uh, lights, I definitely suggest auto. Um, that way they'll go on, you don't have to worry about it. Windshield wipers, you wanna also put that on auto. Um, okay, so that's like the key stuff on this main screen. And then under dynamics, I recommend sport because you have a Model Y, you should use it. Uh, I like to put hold on for the brakes, uh, the regenerative braking um, charging. You should put it at 80% in terms of if you have autopilot or if you have FSD, obviously you can put that on whether you want single pull or double pull. Um, and what other setting here is kind of important. Um, I all I like to have collision warning on medium and I, I definitely recommend all these safety features to be enabled. In terms of locks, um, you, I think it's good to have it walk away. Um, I unlock on park. Uh, I, I want a notification when the doors and or windows are open. So I think that's important. In terms of lights, again, auto, this is another menu where you can get it. Adaptive headlights, I would definitely put that on. That basically changes the high beams, depending upon the oncoming cars. Ambient lights are the ones uh, here in the car. So you can see uh, the car got darker there, now it got a little lighter. <clears throat> Steering wheel lights, seats, basic stuff. Display, I put on auto, it changes from light to dark, depending upon the time of day. And then you have the other settings, not a big deal. Schedule is if you wanna charge at a certain time. So for us, between midnight and 3 p.m. is the least expensive. Safety, um, I definitely recommend sentry mode. There's still crazies out there that are scratching and damaging Tesla, so put that on. You can exclude your home or work. And um, also you can set home or work on the navigation screen, which I'll show you in a minute. A blind spot camera, I definitely recommend. And these are again, are a lot of these safety features here. Pin to drive is something I recommend too, because if you ever leave your phone in the car, someone can just literally drive away with it because it won't lock. But if you have a pin, they won't know what that pin is. And then cabin overheat, this is a great feature. Put that on, uh, I recommend uh, like, you know, some setting on that. Uh, service just, just tells you the, your PSI and some other information. Software, that's pretty straightforward. And then navigation. So here um, you can set the volume. You can um, add <clears throat> uh, whether you want to see superchargers and uh, trips is just informational. I like to reset this, so I reset it after my last uh, rotation of tires. So it's really easy to, to reset it. Um, then set up Wi-Fi when you're at your house, Bluetooth, um, same kind of settings. So that's pretty much it. And if you do want to go and, and like set something as a favorite or other, you just push and hold and then you can put that address in. So that's it. Quick tour of all the features for you to set up.